Hello and welcome. Linux Mint is an Ubuntu-based distribution whose goal is to provide a more complete out-of-the-box experience by including browser plugins, support for DVD playback, Java and other components. It also adds a custom desktop and menus, several unique configuration tools, and a web-based package installation interface. Linux Mint is compatible with Ubuntu software repositories. The beta phase for Mint 19 will be longer than usual, with a stable release planned for the end of June. A lot of code was ported to Python 3, GKSU was removed and replaced with PKEXEC, Mate now supports high DPI automatically, we're using a brand new package base, the theme engine in GTK 3.22 is very different than in GTK 3.18 and might cause a few issues in Mint Tex, and we've switched to Mint Y and its new set of icons so we're expecting many little bugs and paper cuts. No KDE edition. Linux Mint 18.3 was the last release to have an official KDE version. KDE is being dropped from Linux Mint 19. You can still install KDE on top of Linux Mint 19, unofficially, and port Mint software to Kubuntu. Revamped Mint Welcome Screen The Mint Welcome Screen will have a UI revamp with links to the user guide and hint at things a user might want to do such as install codecs, popular apps, opt for popular settings etc. Cinnamon will open apps faster in Linux Mint 19. Linux Mint team noticed that applications load faster in Mate and XFCE editions of Linux Mint. This led to an investigation of Cinnamon's performance in launching applications. Based on the investigation, Cinnamon will be improved to open applications quickly. Which means you Linux Mint 19 Cinnamon will feel slightly faster. A welcoming news for Cinnamon users. Changes in Mint Update. There will be some changes to the Mint Update as well. The update process will be slightly more strict with a safeguard against sensitive package removals. It will also notify to reboot the computer after an update when required. There will be sys tray icon or info bar to notify users of the availability of new Mint versions. Configurable maximum volume. In earlier versions of Linux Mint, if you wanted to increase the volume beyond 100%, you could do that from the audio settings. However, this was not linked with the volume button on your system. You couldn't go beyond 100% with a multimedia key. This is changed in Linux Mint 19. You can now set a maximum volume anywhere between 0 to 150%. When you use the volume buttons on your system, it won't go beyond the maximum volume you have set. Improvements on the default PDF reader. The default PDF reader, Xredder, has been improved. You can now set the size of thumbnails, remove annotations and save EPUB documents. Smooth scrolling is also improved. Based on your privacy settings, Xredder will show you recently opened documents. No data collection. One of the most talked about feature in Ubuntu 18.04 was the collection of hardware stats and application preference stats. The Linux Mint 19 is based on Ubuntu 18.04. It won't be collecting any such data. One more reason why Linux Mint is better than Ubuntu. Under the hood performance optimization. There will be improved support for high DPI. Expect a better looking cinnamon desktop on HD displays. Apart from the visual changes, there will be slight performance improvement as well. The cinnamon desktop will be slightly faster at boot. Compiler optimization will bring optimized compiled binaries for Cinnamon, XAPS, 